Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the Pika Tracer activity investigating convergence. Here is our objectives of this Pika Tracer activity. In part 1, view the routing table of a converged network. In part 2, add a new LAN to the topology. In part 3, watch the network converge. Also, we will go through the background. Uh, this activity will help you identify important information in routing tables and witness the process of network convergence. Coming to part 1, view the routing table of a converged network. You, in step 1, uh, use show commands and interpret the output. Show the directly connected networks of R1. So we have to use this uh, show command. Show IP root connected. How many routes are connected to R1? Right. Coming to the router R1. Enable show IP root connected. Yes. Here we can see uh, two routes are connected to R1. Now we will come to uh, B. Show the running configuration of uh, R1. What routing protocol is in use? Right, coming to R1. Here we are going to give the running configuration. Show running config. Right. Yes, here we can see a router a RIP. So here uh, routing protocol is a RIP. Coming to C. Are the IP addresses in the configuration advertised by RIP the same as those that are connected? Right, here we can see, uh, here they given the network 192.168.1.0. So coming to our addressing table, here we can see that, yes, 192.168.1.2. So it will be the network address will be 1.0. Yes, it's correct. And here we can see 209.165.0.0. Here we can see that 209.165.0.0, yes. Coming to D, are these IP addresses assignable network or broadcast? Yes, just now we have seen that these addresses, these both, both addresses are a network address. Coming to E, show the networks of R1 length through RIP. How many routes are there? So we are, we are going to give this show command, show IP root RIP. Right, coming to R1. Here we are going to give show IP root only RIP. Right, so here we can see one root. Yes. Coming to F, show all of the networks that R1 has in its routing table. Uh, what do the leading letters represent? So we have to give this command show IP root. Coming to R1, here we are going to give show IP root. And here we can see uh, the letters R, C, and L. Yes, here we can see C is for connected, R is for uh, uh, RIP, and L is for local. Coming to G, repeat step 1, A to F on R2. Compare the output of the two routers. Right, so we are going to uh, do all these uh, uh, same thing whatever we have done on R1, on R2 also. Right, coming to uh, R2, first of all we will check the connected uh, routes on R2. Enable, here we are going to give a show IP root connected. And here we can see there are uh, two routes connected to R2. Now we will check the protocol is in use in this router 2. So here we are going to use show running config. Here also we can see uh, the protocol is in use is uh, RIP. Now we will check the IP addresses in the configuration advertised by RIP, the same as those that are connected. Here we can see that the address 10.0.0.0 and coming to the addressing table, the device R2, here we can see 
10.0.0.1 this is the ip address so the network address will be 0.0, .0. And the next address is 192.168.1.0 here we can see that 192.168.1.1 so the network address of this ip address is 1.0 and these addresses are a network address now we will show the networks of r2 learned through a rip using show ip root rip here we can see one root uh, which is uh, learned through a uh, rip now we will show all of the networks uh, that r2 has in its routing table uh, using the command show ip root and here we can see the letters c for connected l for local and r for rip now we will come to uh, step 2 verify the state of the topology ping pc3 from pc2 the ping should be successful right so uh, we will uh, get the ip address of uh, pc3 coming to pc3 desktop command prompt here we are going to give ip config here is the address of pc3 We will come to PC2, desktop, command prompt, here we are going to ping to this PC3 and we are waiting for the replay. Yes, we are getting the replay. Coming to B, show the interface status on R2. Two interfaces should have assigned addresses. Each address corresponds to a connected network. We are going to use this command show IP interface brief. Right, coming to R2, CLI. Here we are going to give a show IP interface brief. And here we can see that gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. IP address is 10.0.0.1 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. The address is 192.168.1.1. Coming to C, show the interface status on R1. How many interfaces have assigned addresses? Here also we are going to use the same uh, show command, show IP interface brief. So coming to R1, CLI, enable. Here we are going to use show IP interface brief. And here we can see uh, the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 assigned IP address. Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 is also assigned the IP address. Serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 is also assigned with IP address. So here we can see total three interfaces have assigned addresses. Coming to uh, part 2, add a new LAN to the topology. In step 1, add an Ethernet cable. A. Connect the correct Ethernet cable from S1 to the appropriate port on R1. Right. Coming to the topology, here we are going to connect from S1 to this router R1. So, coming to our connections, we are going to use a copper straight through. From S1, here we are going to use gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Coming to R1, here we are going to use gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Coming to B, ping from PC1 to PC2 after the affected S1 port turns green. Was the ping successful? We will verify that. First of all, we will get the IP address of PC2. Here we can see the IP address. We are going to copy this address. Coming to PC1, desktop, command prompt. Here we are going to give the command ping to pc2 the address yes we are getting the replay coming to c ping from pc1 to pc3 was the ping successful why we will check this first of all we will get the ip address of pc3 here is the address i am going to copy this address coming to pc1 command prompt here we are going to give ping IP address of uh, PC3 
and we are waiting for the replay we are getting a request timed out it is not going to communicate from uh, pc1 to pc3 because uh, r1 is not advertising the 64.0.0.0 network to r2 which was unable to return packets now we will come to uh, step 2 configure a route switch from real time mode to simulation mode enter a new route on r1 for the 64.0.0.0 network so this is the command what we have to give router rip network 64.0.0.0 examine the pdus leaving r1 what type are they right so we will uh, do this uh, configuration now we will switch from real time mode to a simulation mode right now we will come to r1 cli we are going to give a configure terminal router or rip and we are going to specify router rip all right now we will give network 64.0.0.0 right sure we can see it's a rip version 1 now we will come to part 3 watch the network converge step 1 use a debug commands enable debugging on r2 we have to give this command to debug ip rip debug ip routing for reference show the routing table of r2 as in step 1f right so we will do this now coming to r2 here we are going to give debug ip rip also we are going to give debug ip routing coming to c click capture or forward from simulation mode what notification appeared in the terminal of r2 right we will verify that here we are going to click capture or forward yes here we can see the message yes so there was a rip version 1 update from r1 coming to a d according to the debugging output how many hops away from r2 is 64.0.0.0 yes so here uh, we can we can see our uh, uh, result uh, 64.0.0.0 via 192.168.1.2 and here we can see uh, it's one hop coming to e what interface does r2 send packets destined for the 64.0.0.0 networks yes here we can see it's serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 coming to f show the routing table of r2 record the new entry right coming to uh, r2 cli right here we are going to give show ip root and here we can see the new entry yes here we can see that 64.0.0.0 slash 8 coming to the last step step 2 verify the state of the topology ping from pc1 to pc3 was the ping successful why right we will check this we'll ping from pc1 to pc3 we will get the ip address of pc3 yes here it is we are going to copy this address coming to pc1 command prompt ping to pc3 here we can see it is in a simulation mode we are going to switch to the real time mode and here we can see we are getting the replay yes so now the r1 advertise the 64.0.0.0 network to r2 which was able to return packets now yes that's all in this packet tracer activity here we can see uh, the completion status uh, 10 out of 10 
So in this uh, packet tracer activity, we have uh, investigated the convergence. Dear friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And for future videos, you can subscribe the channel right now. Bye-bye.